Hi everybody, it's Isaac here again from Cambridge Foods by Isaac and I'm excited to share with you a really simple, fast, easy recipe you can make especially in the summertime when it's too hot to cook in the kitchen. Makes a great snack or a great breakfast to get you started in your day and it's all with two ingredients. Chia seeds and your choice of either a uh, dairy milk, a nut milk or fruit juice. So today I'm going to show you how to make chia seed pudding on Cambridge Foods by Isaac. So folks, I thought before we begin with the recipe, I would actually just take a few minutes to tell you about chia seeds and give you a good close-up of what they look like. Now you notice here that they are black and white and all shades of gray, and so is my tabletop, my granite tabletop, and I did not want the two together to mess with your eyes. So I put down a little kitchen towel, and um, I'm gonna zoom in now so you can actually get a really good look at what these seeds look like. They're really teeny, teeny, tiny. And you can see there are all shades of black, white, and gray. They, um, whoops, a little too far in my zoom here. Let me back that up. They, um, again, black, white, and gray. Uh, they don't have any flavor to them. Um, you can eat them plain as they are, add a little crunch to a salad or something. But what we're gonna do is really um, utilize the uh, special talent of these seeds. What happens is when they get wet, they, expand they make like a little gel around the seeds uh, almost like tapioca pearls they will take on the flavors of any liquid that you put with them so this is a great opportunity to mix fruit juices or um, like a vanilla flavored milk um, you know any kind of thing you want to do to flavor these and you can make a great pudding and it's super nutritious for you i'm going to just read some info off the bag here it says, first of all, chia seeds are gluten-free, so that's a plus for so many people now. Uh, but it's a good source of fiber and protein, has 15 times more magnesium than broccoli, 30% more antioxidants than blueberries, twice the potassium in a banana, six times more calcium than milk, and also contains rare antioxidants. Uh, one serving, which is one tablespoon, uh, includes 2.4 grams also of omega-3. So really, this is one of those, what they call superfoods, and um, now I'm gonna get started. If you bear with me a second, I'll uh, get prepared here and we'll start making our awesome chia seed pudding, which takes almost no time at all. Okay, so the very first thing that we're gonna do is add our chia seeds. So to do this recipe, first thing you're gonna need, of course, is a container to hold it. So uh, something preferably with a lid because you can shake it up to mix it. It's really, really simple. Most people have a little Tupperware container, Ziploc containers, or this one actually came from a fast food thing where I actually just saved the container. So anyway, to begin, what you wanna do is add two to three tablespoons of chia seeds. And for a container this size, I think three is gonna work well. So. Bear with me while I do my little scoops here. And I have a half tablespoon scoop, so I gotta do a few of these. So that's one tablespoon. There's two tablespoons. And one more. Okay, that's about three tablespoons right there. And now, the only extra thing to do is add one half cup of liquid. So again, this can be fruit juice. Um, right now, I'm actually gonna use almond milk. And um, many people, for health benefits, prefer that you use the unsweetened almond milk. I have tried that. I really, really can't stand the taste. Um, what I have is the vanilla sweetened version of almond milk and the calories are not bad. It's 80 calories per cup. We're only gonna use a half cup, so let me go ahead and get that going. That's only 40 calories. I'll pour that in. Okay, so that's in there. And now literally all we're gonna do is put the lid on and give it a good shake. up make sure the other seeds kind of float down to the bottom and here's what looks like a big milky mess <laughs> but no worries what we're going to do now is we're just going to seal it up we're going to put it in the fridge and keep it covered and it's best to let this fully uh, process overnight 
um, but you can check in on it in maybe like three to four hours and it should be ready to go. So um, basically, aside from this, what you can do is add any type of flavoring of your choice. If you want to sweeten it up more, you can add either sugar, agave, stevia, whatever you like, cinnamon, nutmeg. Um, you can puree fruits or add jams and things to this. So really, the sky's the limit. Okay, folks, here is one that I just took out of the fridge. Uh, it has been uh, overnight. And you can see as I swirl it around, it's really thick and clumpy. If I uh, scoop it here, you can see it kind of falling down. That is all the gel that these seeds make on their own. So again, like tapioca pearls, and there's no flavor except for what I added to it. The reason that you see this kind of brownish color is because I added cinnamon and ginger and nutmeg to this to uh, make a nice spiced pudding here. This is a great snack to have. Uh, in between, uh, especially if you're on the Cambridge diet and you're in between shakes, you're on that regular program, trying to find something that's not too super loaded with calories. This uh, total thing with three tablespoons of chia seeds, that came out to 120 calories. The milk, remember we used half a cup of the milk, so that was another 40 calories. So not bad. And um, like I say, you flavor it however you want. Your possibilities are endless. You can add fruits to this. Um, again, know your calories beforehand so you're not overdoing it. You don't want to spend all your calories in one meal. You want to think of your calories kind of almost like a bank account. You have this much budget to live on each day. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy this now. I haven't even tasted this yet officially, so let's see how good this is with the cinnamon and the nutmeg and the ginger. Hmm. It's really good. Yeah, the cinnamon actually gives me um, sort of thinking of rice pudding. So again, play around with it. See what you like. If you have any great ideas, be sure to share them with us. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to these videos. And uh, if you have ideas for something you'd like to see done, by all means, let me know about it. I'm always researching behind the scenes, coming up with new ideas, looking for new products, and uh, working on some more great sweets to enjoy. I know that uh, I don't have too many sweets listed yet because I don't really have a sweet tooth anymore. The Cambridge diets worked so well for me, but we want to make sure we have a little something for everyone. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon on Cambridge Foods by Isaac. If you want to learn more about the Cambridge diet, about the product reviews, or how to make some great low calorie recipes, be sure and click that big red subscribe button below.